Jacob called for his sons, and he said, Assemble yourselves, gather yourselves, and listen, O sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel, your father. Genesis chapter 49, verses 1 and 2. What follows in this week's Parsha, Vayechi, is a special individualized blessing for each of the sons of Jacob, the tribes of Israel, as well as the sons of Joseph. Reading these blessings, one is struck by the content of each blessing, not what you would usually have in mind when thinking of a blessing, hopes for a bright and prosperous future, good wishes. No, these blessings are more of a character assessment and not all of them complimentary. Take the blessing for Ruvain, for example. Because of your water-like impetuosity, you cannot be foremost, says Jacob. Shimon and Levi, his blessing continues, our brothers stole and tools their weapons with their congregation do not unite. A curse is their rage for it is mighty. Other verses are obscure. Judah launders his garment in wine and his robe in the blood of grapes. Dan will be a snake on the highway, a serpent on the path. What kind of blessings are these? A hint is given in the passage as it concludes Genesis chapter 49, verse 28. This is what their father said to them, and he blessed them, each according to his appropriate blessing. Shabbat Shalom. I hope that this pre-Shabbat video finds you and your family healthy and safe and enjoying this beautiful Arab Shabbos afternoon. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Youth and Adolescence studied 506 middle school students from a predominantly white upper middle class community. The study focused on the correlation between perceived high parental emphasis on achievement with respect to grades and other tangible markers of success and how that impacted on the children's behavior and perception of self. The data suggested that a pattern of higher school performance and higher self-esteem and lower psychological symptoms was associated with low to neutral parent emphasis on achievement. The study supported the opposite as well. That is that higher, the higher the pressure to achieve and conform to parental expectations, the more likely it was that children would experience low self-esteem and psychological distress. If you're watching this video here in New City, New York, you know that our community profile is similar in many respects to the unnamed community in the study. Many upwardly mobile parents here have high expectations of their children when it comes to school performance and sports as well as college and career choices. And we also know anecdotally that record number of our record number of our kids are hospitalized experiencing eating disorders or engaged in other acts of self-harm. There are a multitude of reasons for this epidemic, which pre-existed COVID for many years, but clearly many of our children feel the pressures of having to measure up. At first, Jacob's blessing for each of his sons appears harsh and punitive, but a deeper reading reveals the brilliance of these final words to his family. Because Jacob knows his children, he understands their failings and their strengths. He might have blessed them with material wealth and success, but as we all know, these things more often than not do not lead to happiness. Jacob's blessing is to recognize in each of his children something unique, something exceptional, irreplaceable. He recognizes them for who they are with the hopes that they will fulfill not his dreams and aspirations, but rather their own dreams for self-fulfillment. Would that we could all confer that kind of blessing on our children and our grandchildren to reflect back to them what makes them special and unique, not what we want them to be, but to help them discover in themselves the reason that they were created. Shabbat Shalom.